Ethiopia has rejected the accusations that have been thrown by the United States. The government of Ethiopia has rejected a statement by the United States that was alleging that the members of Ethiopian forces along with Eritrean and Amhara forces committed war crimes during the two-year war. But the Ministry of Foreign Affairs called the U.S. statement selective and inflammatory, saying the partisan and divisive approach from the United States is ill-advised. What did I tell you when the United States was saying that they want to give us money, they want to help us out? It's all because they care about African countries. Biden even promised to give millions of dollars to African countries. We all know that it comes with a cost. It comes with enforcing policies. It comes with accusations. It comes with getting their way basically at the end of the day. And if you remember during that two year war, it was pretty obvious where Uni the United States stood, who they were supporting. It was clear as day that they were supporting the rebel group. They wanted the rebel group to be back in power because they have good relationships with them. It was obvious, but they want to disguise it as they care for the people. But the thing is, they're snitching on themselves by not even mentioning what the rebel group has done to the people of Ethiopia. So much went down during that two-year war, which is sad. It was a war that took so many lives. And obviously, when there is war, there's a lot that's going to happen. Of course, everybody needs to be held accountable. But according to the US, only one side did all the damage. The foreign ministry of Ethiopia actually responded and they said, quote, this statement is untimely. For no apparent reason, the statement appears to exonerate one party from certain allegations of human rights violation, such as assault and other forms of violence, despite the clear and overwhelming evidence about its culpability. And this is being used to advance highly polarized campaigns, pitting one community against others in the country. Clearly, they have picked aside and they're going to stick by it and they want people in the position of power that they have a relationship with so that they can do whatever they want to do and continue with the neocolonization that they love to enforce. So that being said, this is why I believe we need to figure out a way to be sustainable. Like we can't continue borrowing money and taking their money when clearly there's going to be something else attached to it. And is it really worth it? So now they're accusing, as I said, uh, Ethiopian forces of heinous crimes the Ethiopian government is actually rejecting the claims we shall see what's going to happen next anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this story I am on Gilzal Alam I'll see you on the next one bye